We have injury updates. Elton Prince suffered a separated shoulder. I don't know how bad it is. Could be very bad, could not be bad at all. If it is a minor issue, he could be out like, you know, three weeks or whatever. If it's a serious issue, it could be months. And uh, the last person who suffered one of these was Becky Lynch, and she was out for months. So best wishes to him because they were really doing something with those guys. And they got an awesome new entrance. I had people that say they hated that. I'm like, what's wrong with you? This oh, entrance is perfect. They got a disco ball. They got a disco song. I mean, it's the best. Now, we also have an injury to Bailey. We do not know the severity of it. She says, I will be all right. Thanks, everybody. But I think that she probably has to have that knee checked out today. And we're going to find out if she's going to be all right or not. There is footage of it. And the footage is weird because, you know, a lot of times... I'll give you a great example. Becky Lynch, I watched the spot where she got injured, and I knew immediately. Separated shoulder. Immediately. I had to watch it one time. I knew exactly what happened. This was one where I watched it, like, 50 times, and I don't even know what happened here. They're all... They're, her and and, uh, and Oscar in the ring together. She starts running at Oscar. Asuka, for reasons I, I still don't even know what happened, she just falls down, and then Bailey kind of trips on her a little bit, and then Bailey goes down and grabs her knee. I think that Asuka fell on her foot, and so Bailey's body kept going, but her foot didn't move, and so she hyperextended her knee. That's what it looked like to me. But I still don't know why Asuka fell down. The old crawl through the leg spot? I, I don't know. I don't That's know. That's what it looked like to me was, you know, to me it just like But she doesn't like need to crawl because going. it wasn't a tag match. Like, what but was she even crawling through the I, legs for anyway? I have no idea, but Bailey looked like she probably hyperextended her knee, and I'm sure she's on her way down to Andrew's Orthopedic in Alabama to get checked out because you don't know. I mean, hopefully it's nothing. Hopefully just... You know, got all swelled up. You know, she had a picture of her with ice on it. So hopefully she's okay and nothing is torn or anything like that. Usually, you know, a hyperextended knee, you know, you're going to be all right. But yeah. we don't know until we know. So that's that. And then, you know, apparently Don Callis is doing all right today after he was attacked in an angle. Which, you know, what's what's... I, I in should... an angle? You just said he was attacked in an angle. Well, Brian Alvarez reveals listen, it. Listen, listen. There's nothing funny about it, but what's funny is that I used to ask this question all the time because you know how they do the thing where they go like this, the the big X? Because they did yes. in the Bailey match, actually. You do the X, okay? So, you know, now it became a thing where fans knew about the dreaded X, and so then it started to be part of the storyline. Oh, they're really hurt, but they weren't. It's an angle, but they put the X up, okay? So I, I was sitting to myself like what if you're doing an angle, okay? What if you're going to do, like, uh, you know, Kenny Omega's going to get dropped on his head with a tiger driver, and you're going to pretend he's seriously hurt and you hold up the X, but then he actually broke his neck. Then what happens? You because the Y. All these people. Like this. It's, oh, God, it's the Y. It's all these the y, people, you know, they're out there to, uh, you know, take care of a guy's fake injury, but it turns out he's actually hurt, which is a totally different thing. So what's, what's interesting about this is there was supposed to be a pull-apart. So, after the Triple Mania show, they were doing a press conference with Kenny Omega. Don Callis comes out. He cuts a promo on Kenny. Takeshita attacks Kenny. And all these guys are supposed to come and break it up. Well, there's a guy there who has done security, okay? He was not actually a security guard in this instance, but he has done security before for, like, concerts and also wrestling, actually. And I heard that he, he like he knows the local promoter for, for Tijuana. So anyway, there's a there's a fake pull apart, and this dude attacks Don. Oh, God. He grabs him from behind. He starts yanking at him and trying to choke him. And like as he chokes him, he like cross faces him and Don's mouth is all busted up and his neck's all hurt. It's a natural and, reaction and, like, when people are around Don. You could hear Don, he's like he's like he I can't say it on the air what he was saying. But he's screaming like, get this guy off me. What's he doing? No, brother, no. This guy's taking him down. And like, so anyway, his ankle was hurt and his neck was hurt. And he went back to, to San Diego to get checked out. But like, this is a perfect, like, I, I, I know, you know, everyone goes, well, you know, it's a Wild West still in Mexico. It's the last. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Like, can we smarten these guys up? You shouldn't be attacking people. You shouldn't you be shouldn't hurting be people. There. How smart could this guy be if he's God. been doing this for how long? How do you get worked by this? 
Come on. Well, he did. What's going on out there? He went after old Don and uh, and got him. And once again, you know, I mean, I hate to say it. I hope Don's okay, you know, for real. But, like, what a great <laughs> – I'm sorry. Again. And, yes, it was 100% an assault. The guy, yes. like, got out of control and went after Don. But much like – From behind. Cut, much like the cut, this is – perfect for don i mean if he's okay and everything is going to be fine this is perfect for don back in a moment with more observer live got to make a couple of points here that i've seen on the chat during the break Mm -hmm. number one a guy says please go back to youtube we're on youtube run it right now and in fact we now have subscriber belts so for those of you that have been on a long time like myself i got a big gold belt yeah but anyway Don's attack. Mm-hmm. A lot of people here going, man, I can't wait to hear the promos and, you know, adding this to the story and everything like that. But here's here's the thing, everyone. Yes, when when they were doing that angle on Dynamite and John Moxley punched Don and Don stumbled back and legitimately hit his head on that metal thing and uh, got split straight down like that. And now he still has that scar, which will never go away, it appears. And, uh, you know, whatever they tell you to do for a scar, like put stuff on it, don't do that, Don. Let it be. But anyway, you know, that was a thing that happened, and now it's an awesome part of his character, okay? But this uh, this fan going after him in Mexico, there was a period in the mid-'90s in WCW, about 95, 96, where somebody came up with the brilliant idea of let's get some worked fans, some plants, to go after wrestlers here and there. Make it seem like, you know, these guys got so much heat, we'll have these plants come out of the crowd and go after them. Okay? Well, you know this hat, you know this resulted in? A bunch of idiots, shoot idiots, jumping the rail and going after the wrestlers. So the thing is, yes... You know, the idea that Don got so much heat that some numbskull went after him, like, that's kind of a it's kind of a cool thing when you think about what wrestling is supposed to be and the fact that that stuff doesn't even happen anymore and somebody managed to do it. But do not bring this up in commentary. Do not bring this up in an angle. Do not bring this up in a promo because all it's going to do is encourage other idiots to go after Don. So, I mean... You know, it happened. The people that know about it can marvel that you actually got somebody like that in 2023. But do not alert the world and random idiots to this fact. Or it's just going to get worse. That's my advice. Have you ever seen in in your entire time wrestling, did anybody ever come out of the crowd, take a, a poke at somebody that you were working with or working against? No, I don't Never. think so. No. Any of those old old school guys? Somebody made a grandmother upset, threw the purse at him. Well, I mean, we had like things that. like you know people yelling and trying to throw stuff, but no one like got in the ring. No I'm batteries around. though, or anything. I'm sure it happened at some show somewhere, but you know, what was the weirdest thing that ever got thrown at you? Thrown at me? I yes. didn't have things thrown at me. I was beloved. No room keys. No, come on. No underpants. We didn't have room keys back then. It would have been an actual key. And if they didn't get it back, they couldn't get into their own room. (laughs) Kidding me? Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, 
Full access to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.